And that's where we start with our Newsmaker segment. Our guest is the new mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, Quentin Lucas. He won a landslide victory in last year's election and took office in early August. We are pleased to welcome back to Ruckus, Mayor Quentin Lucas of Kansas City, Missouri. Thank you for joining us, sir. It is good to be with you, Mike, and good to be back on Ruckus. You've been mayor now for several months. Is it like you thought it was going to be? Uh, it is like what I thought it would be, just with 10 times the work and the pressure. Uh, there is a lot going on in Kansas City. That's a good thing, but there's certainly a lot we need to get done. So uh, we hit the ground running, and we look forward to doing that over the years ahead. And you got some criticism, mild criticism, mm -hmm. I would add, but you've had some criticism for being too involved and too active too early. Usually political figures <laughs> are criticized for not doing enough. You're being criticized for trying to do too much. You know, I think uh, perhaps my training in life and the way I was raised was that we're supposed to actually work hard. And I think the people of Kansas City saw during my campaign, I was an energetic campaigner. Frankly, on the city council, I was the same way. I, I've said many times, we're a city that can walk and chew gum. We can do big transformative projects, but we also need to make sure we're taking care of basic services and longstanding issues like violent crime. So I'm proud of our efforts so far and the progress we've made. I was going to say, you've made no secret of the fact that your top priority is reducing violent crime mm -hmm. and reducing reducing the very large homicide yes. rate in Kansas City, Missouri. Obviously, that involves the police department. Have you given any thought to the possibility that your efforts might be easier if the police department were under local and not state control? You know, I think philosophically it's, it's interesting to have local versus state control conversations, but in some of my work so far as mayor, I've talked to the mayor of St. Louis, where a few years ago they, they got that. local yep, control. Yep. And they continue to have a significant number of homicides. Frankly, I don't know if the department is in any way better run. So my biggest priority is how do I actually save lives in Kansas City and make people safer? And that's my day-to-day -day focus right now. Well, you've made it very clear that reducing the the violent crime rate and homicides, that's priority number one. But what are number two and three? Well, number two, I think, is simply this. How do we deliver the services that our constituents deserve in Kansas City? I think people want to say that it's a place where you can live, where you can work, and where you can play. And frankly, where you're actually getting services that are comparable with cities all around our region. So a big focus of mine, and as we look for a new city manager, is making sure we're doing just that. Making sure that we're solvent in our budget long term, but also making sure we're doing things like filling potholes, like actually uh, carrying through on our promises on zero fare transit. And that's the kind of basic, perhaps it's not the most exciting, but that's the work that our constituents deserve. Speaking of city managers, Troy Schulte was in that job for about a decade. Yes and uh, decided to retire about a month after you took office. Did you uh, play a role in engineering that? I, I did not. I think uh, Troy said that he had a, a good time with 10 years. That's a position that takes a lot of stress, a lot of energy, and I think he was ready for a different change. I would say his new one also may have a lot of stress and yeah, take a lot of energy. He's become the Jackson County Administrator. Were you surprised by that? Were you involved in that discussion? Uh, you know, I, I uh, not much. I mean, I certainly have talked to the Jackson County Executive and others. I think they made a great choice with City Manager Schulte, who knows the region, uh, but then also knows a lot of the challenges that exist in Jackson County. Certainly no shortage of challenges in Jackson County. Well, that, that's the truth, <laughs> and I think they've got some good folks to help them now. Uh, will this facilitate better city-county relations? I, I think we have always, uh, it varies. In some ways, it actually relies on the personalities. You know, from the moment I was elected, I started meeting with people not just in Kansas City, but throughout our region, and I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. And so, frankly, I've been meeting with Frank White, meeting with the Jackson County Sheriff and others. While we all don't agree on everything, we, all, we also make sure we do have some respect between each other, and that's the best way we can work on all of these. During your campaign, you talked about reducing tax benefits for mm -hmm. economic development for mm -hmm. businesses locating in Kansas City, Missouri, especially downtown. Any progress in that regard? Well, I, I think there is, despite what may be editorialized. Uh, I, I come with this basic view, Mike, and you've been studying Kansas City for years. There is someone who can be between the Mark Funkhauser approach, which is just ban them all, and perhaps A.K. Barnes' approach, which was very aggressive. And I think there is a middle path we can use, which says, yes, we will still have economic development in Kansas City. It doesn't need to be at the same level that it's been for years, which are these 23-year, 100% property tax breaks. We can continue to push more of that development 
East, and importantly, and something I'm very proud of, we've appointed a number of folks who frankly are skeptical on incentives to our boards and commissions. The Port Authority has the superintendent from the Hickman Mill Schools. Former mayoral candidate Alicia Kennedy is the TIF Commission chair. Phil Glenn, a mayoral candidate, is on the Port Authority. I'm proud of the fact that we have people that will ask tough questions and not just be a rubber stamp. Mr. Mayor, we've got to stop it there. Thank you very much for your time. Congratulations again on your victory. Good luck in what you're doing and come back and see us. Well, thank you and go Chiefs. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Kansas City, Missouri, Mayor Quentin Lucas. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.